Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to our noob to Clendathu Mega Base go through. And uh, I know it's been a little bit, uh, if you've been following along, life kind of gets in the way. We ended up getting a new puppy and I'm having to spend a lot of time helping take care of that little, little guy, well, little girl. Uh, now it is one that we have been looking for for some time, so uh, it was planned for, but uh, we just did, I didn't realize we were going to get it so soon. So let's uh, get back up to snuff here where we're at. So I know that we had just unlocked one of our artillery ranges. And um, I had to shut off a lot of different services because we ran out of juice. Um, so we need to fix our nuclear situation. And to start with that, we are going to start getting some of this nice plutonium mined out um, before it becomes a problem. Or a bigger, at least a bigger problem than what we already have. So, uh, I don't mind the walls. Let's see, how's, how are we doing on our destructive uh, loads? They're still going out. Uh, we got a bit to clear here. Looks like there's fine. Got a little bit maybe going on over here. Eh, maybe a little over here. Uh, uh, not too bad. Okay, so we're not we're not doing too bad from a range perspective and uh, potentially creating a whole bunch more messes coming in so we can try to start getting some of this done. So let's come in here. We're going to set up some uh, new mining. And we're going to have to get the sulfuric acid in here, too, so that's uh, going to be fun. And what I might do, since the other place is just about dead... Uh, you know what? Actually, let me think about this for a second here. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, I, could, I guess I could do that. How did I do it on the other one? So I know that we got to get fluid in here, too. Uh, oh, I just did it from the ends. That's okay. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, so you got to get the good old brain working a bit in the morning. Yeah. So this little bit of sp spot here should probably get me enough uh, plutonium to go for a little bit. Once we get it, get it started. And uh, thanks to one of my viewers, I think I understand what I did wrong on the other setup, so we can at least get it running again as well. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to just actually harvest the plutonium here, and we're going to ship it down, and we're going to convert that other spot where we're making it into a proper depot for making fuel. So we're going to be taking some stuff apart and rebuilding some things. In the meantime, we gotta ha we're gonna have to have some uh, spots here. Let's see what how we're gonna do this train here. So we can do this for the pickup of uh, plutonium. So let's just come down here, probably about right there. I think I can make it work. And then oh, I gotta reset my. Uh, all my lights and stuff here. Let's go and do that. And then let's get uh, the other light. And because I still haven't fixed this blueprint. And like I said, I have, I'm not really sure if I'm going to just because I want to look at the future state of how I want to do some things. And I might go away from the 2 4 or the 2 1 2 train or whatever they call it. Um, and which we are going to need a train for, because we don't have a plutonium train. Let's get this guy, boom, boom, boom. And then let's get us all of our fun little bits and bobs. And this does not mine very fast, so I figure two of these should probably be fine. And then we can just do... That and that, and... Now we just gotta get all this wired up. Uh, let's see. 
And we're also going to need to set up the piping. I might set the pipe on the back side here. So that might make it a little easier for us to kind of wrangle. Bring this guy down. Let's see about right there. And we'll go to this guy up here. Uh, I mean, I might have made this a little too close, but uh, let's just see what we can if we can make something work here. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Alright, then we'll just get this guy here. Just since he's just a little loner. We'll just bring him up like that. Okay. So then here, what I'll do is I'll take... Uh, yeah, let's do... I'll just take these two. And then what we'll do here is just kind of do this guy here. And then we'll take this guy. We'll go underneath. Up and around and in. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's get some power. Let's see, let's get uh, about right there. Then we'll have to have some for that. And then we got to get all of our little power poles up. We also need to get our request station, or no, supplier station added. We have just enough room here. Boop. And I do not know the stack size. Uh, I'm going to try to guess 50 for now just to... Oh, shoot. You know what? i got to deal with both uraniums, don't I? Decisions, decisions. Uh, well, I'll set it for this one. Actually, you know what? I might not even do this. I might just leave it be a train that goes when it's full. Yeah, and if I do that, then I can have the filters for the shiny rocks and the non-shiny rocks. Uh, on the other end. I think that's, yeah, I think that's what I might do. So let's make this green because, you know, it's uh, radioactive. We'll do the dull green since our green circuits are brighter. And we still got to get sulfur in, so let's do this. We're going to make this just, uh, no, I can't use the dead rock. Uh, actually, yeah, I can because I'm doing the fuel. <laughs> So let's just do that. Oops. And actually, I'll just put them both on there. E dash. Set up our two as normal. Keep our naming convention going. And then we'll give this thing some fuel for the moment. Uh, oh, actually, I actually have some coal. How about that? I'll just give him some coal. Okay. So now, let's see how we're going to get... Oh, well, let's go ahead and get the power hooked up. I guess I should do that. Okay, obviously this won't do anything until we get some... Uh, sulfuric acid up here so that shall be next uh, let's see how are we gonna where are we gonna get it in here at um, so that's one of that station we might just have to take it off of here which means I might need to do it manually 
build this out. Okay, so let's just do... So we'll just bring it out here. Just enough. I can set up a... Nice little... Input-output train. Come on. There we go. Alright, there we go. So now... Uh, let's get us a train stop. I don't need those right now. Let's get us this guy. And we'll go ahead and just put it right... I'm gonna put it right there at the end. you guys do your thing see this is that one so let's go there there and there all right so this should give us our sulfur stop um so now let's just get some of these tanks that i got here let's get uh let's do one two yeah two's probably enough uh let's see do i have any pumps on me though that's a good question. I may... Oh, no, I do have some. Okay. Yippee! One, two, three, and four. We'll just set that up there. Get this one here. Just kind of do that. And then we'll just kind of do this there. And this one will need a station set up. So this is a fluid request. Where's my fluid request? And oh, boom. And let's just change this to sulfuric acid. And what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the other uh, train station into a provider for this stuff in the, for the interim. And let's get this thing power. Uh, where's my... There we go. Yeah, let me just kind of do a, one of those. Okay, so this guy here, we're going to enable the train limit. Make sure we set that. Let's come in here. We're going to set this to sulfuric drop-off. And then, let's see. Is that getting set right? No, it's not. Um... See, I gotta remember. I think I screwed this one up. I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, output two. See, I think yeah, I think I needed to change all these to L. Is what it was. So output signal two and there, but we want max of one. So we don't create a backup. And uh, then for this, I need to change that to half of that. So 50. And up the signal is one. Okay. And I guess a train's already coming. That's why it's doing that. Okay. Well, if a train's already coming, let's hurry up and get this wired because I don't have a whole lot of pipe on me, apparently. Oops. Uh, let's do a pump. Yep. There they are. Okay. Mr. Pump. Let's go out. Let's hope I have enough pipe to get this done. And then let's go... Actually, that one I might need to do... Instead, let's do a uh, straight pipe. And then we'll go... Uh, 
Uh, shoot. Okay. Let's do that. And then I'll circle it off of that one for there. So let's just go. One, two, three. We'll see how many we can get wired up before I get... If I can get all of these or not. I got four pipes left. That one... Can I do it this way? Hey, <laughs> there we go. So I don't have enough to get to that guy unless I have some pipe over here, which I got a bunch of undergrounds, but not straight pipe. Okay, well, we'll get this one fixed up here in a minute. Let's get, oh, he's not powered. Let's, let's get you some juice. And that's creating our train. That's loading it up. Let's see how we're doing here. It is stacks of 50. <laughs> Yay me. Oh wait, this is just raw ore. I forgot about that. I I goofed. So really this isn't that. This is uh That's that. Two and enter. Okay. And then now we can get this kinda this is moving. So that's good. So now our fun part is to get this Corvax and all this other stuff redone. So I'm going to go run down there while this is getting filled up. And we'll get that situated as soon as I get over there. Okay, we are back at our little nuclear site here. And the biggest problem is obviously we're starting to run out of goods to mine so we can start picking some of this stuff up and so that way we can get them out of the way and I need to reconnect that guy so let's keep them running and okay so that should give me a little bit of room here let's go ahead and get these guys down here to kind of do that and yeah okay so what we need to do is fix all this which um it looks like some of it got cleaned up a little bit um so part of what my issue is here with all of these splitters and everything is that well i'm I ran out of uh, room <laughs> because I these things backed up and it just wouldn't let things go through so at least that's my my thought here on the process because you know we have all this lovely green here so um, what I need to do is well one I need to fix that so let's come out here clean that out okay so then we can get back in here how are we doing on fuel production we've almost got enough for a train load but we definitely need more than just these two for production like I said I gotta redo this whole kind of setup here um, so it looks like we've gone through all of our recycling and that's doing its thing here but uh, it's coming through slowly but surely going into that buffer but our nice shiny green rocks are starting to stack up again so uh, this is coming down here it's coming up here goes back in this goes in so realistically I don't need this to go in there anymore now that this is all primed and running I really only need I can really just do that then I can just let those get used up. Actually, no, that was not what I needed to do. Because that messed that up. Okay, I needed to go right here. Because that, yeah. I only want it on the inside. And we want it to use up. 
the excess. So we need this thing to get going. We need that to get more of these nice dirty rocks. But that should uh, allow that to run a little bit for the time being. So let's take a look here and see what we're going to do. So we obviously don't need this big loop out here. So this is our recycling. We need to get that to be a little more. Um, I also probably want to get that beaconed so that way we can increase the speed on these guys. Uh, yeah, dirty rocks, dirty rocks. Yep. We need lots of dirty rocks. Um, okay, so let's get, let's see, how are we going to, how do we want to approach this here? I'm thinking if I, I might need to delete a few things from down here at the bottom. Okay, that might be enough room here for our train. Oh, it's kind of not quite. Hmm. I mean, I could do a custom. Yeah, let's just do a custom one. Yeah, it'll be fine. So if I just kind of have it come out here, we can kind of do a, a pull out and have it go right back up. There we go. That'll work. So we just do that. Let's the train stop. This should work. And then I can just feed all that ore right in here. So let's just go one, two, three, four. Well, actually, I'll let, I'll let this side have more. Just so that way we can have a little buffer if uh, we're able to mine it faster than we can consume it. And then, yeah, so let's just get this... Uh, Set up here. Let's go. Uh, let's see. This is going to go to the right. So let's just go boom, boom. Do our old copy paste. And I don't really need a load balancer, but I'm going to throw one on here anyway just to kind of help keep the unload a little. A little more in line. Okay, and then this gives us a way to, once we get to the point where we can uh, get all of our production problems fixed and I can start resetting some of this uh, production line, then that'll give us kind of an inroad here. So, let's see. So we have all of this, let's just kill that right there. Um, let's see, how how well does this thing run? It runs four seconds. So we could actually beacon this as well. And I might want to, so we might see how we can do this here. Uh, Since we got those guys in the way. Well, we're not running all of these guys yet, really, so let's just, um... Let's take a few of these out of the mix here. And then we can start getting this all situated. Okay, so, uh, let's see, okay, yeah, 
yeah, that's there. Still want to keep this buffer. As we will produce, process more of this than we can consume. So let's, well, yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy powered. And let's just go ahead and set this guy here. For our drop-off station. Because we could start getting all of our mineral in here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then now we can just come over here. And where are you at? You're up here. And we can uh, just lucky enough. I need to add some more radars up there. Uh, Mr. Green Rock stuff. Where are you? Okay, so we're going to pick up two. Add full. Drop off, we'll say, wait, empty. And then we'll do our normal pass of get some gas. And I'm not going to add the holding station because this is the only train I have. So I don't have to worry about too many trains here. So we could just go boom. Away it goes. And it's got a long trek, so it's already full, so that's good. So, uh, let's see how we're going to get this all squared away. Do I want to just stop production? Yeah, I probably should just stop production, because then I can weave all this stuff together. Alright, let's... Uh, Alright, let's just go back to there, and then we'll just take this guy down to here. Uh, that one's gone. Don't need it. Don't need that. Okay, so. Don't need that. Okay, so there's that, and then... Since this is going to produce a lot more, let's uh, let's pick this up here. And are you guys all done? You guys are all done. So let's go ahead and just uh, pick all this up. We're going to change this up. And then what I'm going to do is in the meantime, while this is all... I'll leave your power there. Let's go ahead and just uh, suck these guys up. And what we'll do is we'll just come over here and say, give you all the dull rocks. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to figure out in this little space here, my new little layout here for this. So we have, we have a couple centrifuges. So let's go ahead and grab these. So centrifuge. And then do I have any beacons? Please tell me I have some. I have some. Okay. So let's do I do something like that and then the main thing is the outputs so what I might do is have a central output line yeah uh, yeah let's see let's do this let's uh, get some more centrifuges so if I did something like this, is that this, and if I have the ore coming in on one side, have all the stuff going out on the other, and then what we can do is do something like uh, that and then we can have all of our outputs like so
And then that should give me like a full belt. And then I could have this guy here. Uh, so they have it come in. Well, here, let's just see. If I do... Actually, do I have any beacons in here? I got one. Okay, well... Might want to go get some more beacons. Um, so these guys are going to be doing the... Uh, uranium processing. Oops. Let's copy the recipe. And then we can throw productivity. So let's just go ahead and throw some red modules in here. Oops. Uh, did I run out? I ran out. Okay, well, luckily they were just right around the corner. But, uh, well, here, let's get this. I need a little trash box here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, just to get some stuff out of the way. And, okay, I'm gonna go get some beacons. And then we'll be right back. And we have some beacons. Okay, so. Uh, we're gonna just. Oh, come on. There and there. Okay, so let's just bring this over. And there. Okay. So we'll see how many we can get on here. I'm just kind of guessing right now. Um, I did grab some modules, so that way we can. Get this wired up properly. So that way all my stuff is not just a guess, we can actually see it happen real time. Okay. So now what I'm thinking to do is, is one, we're gonna have these guys on the outside. All right? And then I'll we'll just come up here and do same same thing on this side. Make sure everybody's happy with power. And then what I want to do is bring the line in here. So if I go that but then that's gonna make this one rough okay so I might need to shift these over one so let's just delete these and then delete these so because what I want to do is have then a second line where it's going like so. Out that way. So then I can just do copy. And let's say paste right here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Let's get all our inputs and outputs. Okay, and then we're gonna get all this over here. This should give me a full belt. I'm gonna bring it up over here. Actually, let's just kill. Let's, uh, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit further here. And then we're gonna do all of our fun sorting right here. So. Uh, what I want to do is then grab this guy here. So this guy here is going to filter on the shiny rocks. And let's go to the right and do that. And then so we'll bring these guys up and around. These guys up. So this guy here we can bring... 
essentially right back into that line right there. So that's already dark green line. And then what I want to do is have something similar for the bright greens. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? So I want to do... Yeah, I think I'm going to do a uh, splitter like this. And then we're going to do green inserters. And we'll go boom, boom. And then we'll have a little outputters. Go up like so. Give us this so we get even distribution. And then this we can actually then just do uh, I think I might just pop that right there for the moment. And that just can go right there for the moment while that gets consumed. And then let's uh, let's get you some juice since you're apparently lacking. Okay. So if I did this right, that should get us a bunch of dark rocks into our little buffer down into this process here. So then what I can do is just do a, uh, something like that. And we'll see how fast these things can produce because this is now going much faster. So that tells me I can probably get more in there too. So that's what I'm looking for here. And then what I want to do here is just do kind of a... This just to allow us to kind of consume the rest, rest of these guys here. Right, just so that way we can consume the rest of that. So this should... I mean, this will obviously produce rocks a lot faster than our old setup anyway. Either way, so that's, uh, that's a plus in my opinion. So this should start getting us a bunch of rocks. Um, and we gotta look at getting this all cleaned up too. Because I definitely want more than two here. Um, oh, we could throw some productivity modules in there. Let's do that. Yeah, it slows it down a little bit, but well, let's see. Can I get even? Nah. I don't even have space to really get any in here. <laughs> so, yeah, that just slowed it way down. All right, I need to definitely get something to fix this layout here now. Okay, so that should make our dark green rock happy. Bright green rock now has a buffer. The buffer no longer needs to feed into here because it's technically primed, so it will have plenty going forward. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just need to get let these get all used. And let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, oh, well, we got enough for at least one train to get out of here. So how much does this produce it at, at a go?
about 10 or so. So I'm at 80 already. So I have it set to pick up at every 200, so uh, I'm hoping. Well, I see that my dark green rocks have backed up. So now it's just a matter of how fast can it run. I should say they're starting to back up, rather. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this should be fine. You know, like I said, we've only gotten like five rocks. We got plenty of space here for green rocks. Um, And that's shifting them back over to here. Uh, uh. I probably should be shifting them back into the. Now that I think about it, into the uh, the boxes there. But nah, eh, maybe not. Let's see, what's this doing? Um. Do I actually have a train? No. Okay. Let's have a train for. I guess I think I did that for some of the ammo. I think was that it. No, that needs bright green. Dark green. Dark green. Dark green. Yeah, that's right. I think I was gonna try to start setting up some of uh, that stuff, but atomic bomb. Ooh. Okay, so, well, the good news is, is that this seems to be going now, um, and we've got enough for another train already. So now, what I need to do is see, uh, how is our power plants doing? <laughs> like, are they actually running? So those ones are running. Those ones are running. Is our big one up here running? Uh, where is it over here? Here we go. It looks like it's back to running. It's got 80 in there, so I think this is probably where the last one just went to. So what's our power look like now? We're still at 2.8, so something's not quite running yet. Maybe these little guys down here. No, that was running, running. Okay, those are, they're all running. Um, okay, so where's, so this guy's running, those are running. Those are running, that's running. I think that's all I have for nuclear power, so I mean. Okay, so I think I can turn, I think what it is, is now that I've got this kind of fixed, I can go turn, start turning things back on, um, which means I'm going to have to go through and remember where all I turned everything off. Um, so this seems to be working now, again, yay. Um, now that we got some power, cause I do need to put down another nuclear power plant though for us to expand, so there is that. Um, I might look to see, you know, this, I like my little grid layout right here, but trying to find a spot, I was lucky to get these two spots there. I mean, I might be able to fit one here, but I, I like it being near the water. Uh, cause getting that square is kind of, it's kind of rough to fit it in there. Um... All these dang cliffs. So, I don't know. Where can I... I might... Well, you know what? I might be able to fit one right here. And you can see I started to drop down a whole bunch of solar arrays. Um, to try to help augment some of our power. Uh, but yeah, I might be able to slap down a power plant right here. Let's just see how big of it... Uh, let's see. Not that one. Uh, is it this one? Yes. Uh, here's the foundation. So let's just look at the... Oh, heck yeah. I can actually fit 
two of them there, and I have a train connection there, so I could should be able to get that in there. Heck, I might even be able to do that right there. Eh, maybe I'll do like one, two. I might be able to get three of these in here. Then I can just kind of do a little train hookup and that should give me a good bit of power. So I think I might work on getting that set up so we can get our power consumption under control. And then once we do that, um, let's take a look and see because I, I saw that I had a rocket here. Uh, so where's my satellites? How's my little satellite production doing? Uh, doesn't really tell me what I'm missing, does it? But it's slowly getting there. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel is running. It's just slow. Okay, so that means it probably is actually just running. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Uh, we got... Oh, it's only run one. <laughs> But look at this, artillery shell range 4 has already happened while we've been, that's almost halfway through, just while we've been doing this, so I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, let's go take a look at that really quick here. It's up here in our little research district. See how things are moving along. So they're still getting their whites in. Still have, uh, well we just ran out of the whites up there, so... We got a bunch of guys down here trying to charge, so who knows. We got bots all over the place. <laughs> but they are doing their thing. So the trains are still full, which means the boxes are mostly full. Well, based on how it's pulling them. So I might need to put down some more roboports just to give it some more charging. Because we got a lot of robots running through there. So, yeah. Either way, I think we got our nuclear power back under control. So now I just got to hope we can get enough of it produced that I can set up some more nuclear power. So we got two, almost three full loads here. So that's perfect. Four, five, you know, five loads. That's going to be perfect, I think. So this is running quite nicely now, and just hope we can consume this bright green stuff fast enough. Uh, so we got our dark green starting to back up, which is nice. Not very, not very much yet, but it's starting to get there, so that's good. That means that whole process is flowing for once. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to go through and try to start wiring some of our stuff back up so we can get things being produced because I shut down a bunch of our uh, research science centers to free up power consumption. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to drop down a couple nuclear power plants basically where uh, I showed you. And so next time we'll have some power and we can start looking at doing some more expansion and maybe try to get our science per minute numbers up to a to a higher higher value uh, so we can just start getting more which means we need to start harvesting more and more of these minerals that are out here so we got a bunch of iron there's some more uranium there's you know the stone the you know there's some big copper patches down here you know there's a nice 21 million copper patch you know we need to start uh, expanding even further our borders yeah, I wouldn't mind taking out, you know, maybe grabbing the border to here, since it doesn't look like there's any ore right there, but there is a bunch of iron right here. We can potentially close this gap off here. Yeah, we can, uh, there's some iron and copper there. This looks like a nice big space, but I might need to, like, block off right there. Or do something. I don't know. But uh, if we start getting some of our science research done, 
you know, we won't need as many turrets. Um, and all that jazz. So we are up to, what, weapons damage 10. So let's, let's take a look here at our uh, bonuses here. So let's see, artillery range plus 90%, uh, damage 510%, shooting speed 220. Um, that's our flamethrower turrets 160. What about our, let's see, where is mining plus 60%. Okay, so, you know, we obviously have a long, long, long way to go to get these things going. And we got... See number seven. So I mean, heck, this just this guy right here is needing sixteen thousand science. Um, this one's gonna need sixteen thousand science. I mean, the next artillery range is thirty-two thousand science. Yeah, you know, ten thousand. So we got, but well, we got a lot of little fun bits and bobs down here. We can just keep running on. Um, like I haven't really done much with shooting speed, just because. Well, I I need to make sure I can keep my walls intact. Um. And my train delivery is very slow for those guys, so hasn't been a big problem. You know, our our you know, other ammo and stuff, you know, that's on us is not too bad. So the mining. So real realistically, I just want the mining and then probably uh you know, just more artillery shell range and uh weapon damage. Yeah. Well actually this one probably wouldn't be too bad either. Get some of that in there. Make those guys a little faster. But, uh, yeah, because then construction will go a lot faster. That'd be nice. So, but either way, you know, we have been making some good progress. Uh, so, now that we are technically into uh, mega base territory, and it looks like my. We're eating through this ore pretty quick. <laughs> How, f how fast are we filling it up? Oh, I can't see because I got to go put some radar dishes. So we'll take care of that, get some of our power turned back on. So next time we can start getting this thing cranked up to, well, not quite 11 because we're not quite there. But, you know, maybe like a good solid 7 or 8. So until then, uh, I do appreciate if you stuck around and, you know... I know it's been kind of hectic with my schedule, and uh, hopefully we'll start getting things back on track here in the next couple weeks as this puppy gets older. So, until then, uh, thanks for watching, and good night. <laughs>